Let's go gambling! Aw oh, dang it! Aw oh, dang it! Aw oh, dang it! Oh, dang it. Oh. Cyberpunk 2077 is a game that has many weapons scattered across Night City. Some being high powered and pricey, some being more versatile at the cost of power. But there's also a weapon that sacrifices power and versatility, but much cheaper and readily available. It's time to very unfortunately find out. Can you beat Cyberpunk 2077 with only the Slotomatic? As you could probably tell, the rules are rather simple. I can only deal damage with the Slotomatic. Shocker. Anything from shooting or gun bashing. I'm also allowing myself full access to all perks and cyberware. Now, enough stalling. We start by picking my favorite difficulty. Pick Street Kid as the Slotomatic is I more of an on the streets kind of weapon. Pick random for my character until I pull someone crazy enough to use this gun. Fill out only half my stats because I'm dumb, give a very appropriate reaction when I look in the mirror, get a job to steal the car I drew in third grade, and get to talk to not my father. Get something. Whoa! This is worthless. Do my superhero landing. Find out that I may not be able to steal cars, but I can steal Jackie's heart. I enjoy the sights before dealing with the fact that there are enemies and no slotomatics in sight. So, I do my very favorite thing. Run around and let Jackie kill all the enemies. <laughs> it's about as fun as talking to that one ant that we all have. Jackie hits like a paper towel, and the enemies hit like Requies. Now when I flash somebody, it's like I just slapped them in the face with a fucking napkin from a little kid's birthday party! I just have to hurry up and wait, Sometimes be a titty streamer and distract the enemies like the CEO of Twitch, vape in the bathroom like I'm in high school, until Jack Lee finally finishes everyone off. As reward, I'd let him show his muscles, find out why you should never try this at home, try and return my wife. Here she is, you can have her back now. She's, she's too expensive, she's all yours. Get my refund, and deal with not having the Slotomatic by letting my ADHD run wild. I follow instructions, I'm aiming at him, dude. Nothing's happening. Wait a second. And enjoy the only thing we can in life. Doom scroll in bed. Does. My name is Thor. My chair has an ass guard. And once I wake up, I found out I've been infected with brain rot. But before I get it fixed, we get to talk about today's video sponsor. This terrible ass weapon. In Cyberpunk 2077 fashion, this gun itself isn't even that bad. A pistol with 36 bullets per gun, but instead of reloading, you add to the pollution more than Reaper from Overwatch. The problem comes with how buggy the weapon is. Let's say you have the gun or guns in your inventory, save the game, walk forward, and failure can you beat Cyberpunk without seeing ads challenge, and reload your last save. When you reload that save, every single slotomatic is removed from your active weapons, and every single one in your backpack no longer has any ammo. I don't know if you can hear me try to click, ain't got no ammo in it. So. That means that if I want to do stuff, uh, I can't ever reload a save. So even if I were to buy some of these, F5, die, one in my hands is gone, in my inventory, every single one of these, no ammo. Sometimes my character will just toss them away because they have no ammunition in them. So that means if I die, I have to reload a save in which I was right before. A slot of magic machine! Isn't that so cool? Isn't that great? I think that's a great mechanic to have in the game. So I spend my child's college fund on nerf guns, start leveling cool to get my headshot damage up, get to hear my best friend talk about my biggest problem. Badass black Jesus of the afterlife. <laughs> Every time he says that, I just get oh so heavy. Meet up with Mr. Brain Science to clear up my brain rot, get some free cyberware, and some early prep for November. I then get to be looking through the looking glass, have a talk with Big Man with smoke, and get given two jobs. Getting a robotic spider from Weezer fans, and talk to the woman who set this all up. We start with the first mission, find out that I still need to overcome my fear, but get rewarded with free money. Readjust my stats to have 6 body and 9 cool, so that when I go to get the bot, I can take down Royce with a punch. 
I then slowly realize that doing this isn't taking him down with the slot o -matic. So I reload a save and grab some more hair dryers, hack the chip Meredith gave me, and inform Royce of the danger to make us homies in Chrome. So Maelstrom helps in letting Jackie and I escape and getting to use the weapon for the first time this run. It's not terrible. As long as I'm not missing shots or getting flashbanged, the gun can kind of hold its own. So we make our way to the last room. I deal with the small timer so new homie Royce can finish off the mech. Find out I accidentally saved a rat and inform Dex. Get to talk to the boss lady and find unfortunate footage of me when I find a cut of meat. You look like a cut of meat. Find out the location of the vegetable, get a level up, keep getting cooler than Freeze's brother, and do some easy side contact for some cyberware eddies. Get scammed. This weapon's, this weapon's empty. <laughs> this weapon's also empty. They selling faulty products on the market. They selling faulty products on the market. They selling faulty products on the market. What is this? Buy a damage increasing cyber that actually does nothing because I'm stupid and only works after I reload. Get some armor and take our meeting in a $7,000 a month studio apartment. Enjoy a totally normal car ride. Hey, how's things? Help. T-Bug, help. He keeps trying to talk about his feelings. Help. Get reminded that I'm an adult. <laughs> 28 teraflops. Shut up. Force the Netrunner into a boss fight. Get into the elevator. Okay, so why'd the rocker boy's output kick him out of the apartment? Because he wasn't chipping in. That's so funny. Have to deal with the winged Karens telling us we can't use the express lane to buy our vegetables. Try being social for once. So how's your day going? Um... You like my nails? I did them just for you. Uh, so we got uh, we got champagne on tonight. Uh, get to see how my next Thanksgiving is gonna go. I really wish I didn't waste my genie's last wish on a third cigarette. And because my toy guns got taken before we entered, I try a more stealthy approach. But can't get that far without causing slotomatic pre-death. So I just rush towards the exit. Well, it starts as painful as accidentally getting sent a screenshot of what you just sent in DMs. Ooh. Oh, I love that Jackie's fucking worthless. I slowly find the actual best way to do this. Oh, yo. No, it's mine. It's mine. Jackie, get the fuck in here. And while I still need the guard with the key to be game ended. <laughs> Nailed it. It's safe in here, even with Jackie trying to make it less so. Oh, Jackie, don't get in here with me. Is my is my own private domicile, and I'm being harassed. But after a while, just dome him, just dome him, just give him the dome, give him a haircut. Jackie finally pulls through. Yes, I basically jump past the next level of BS and get through the fourth section. But my community and I count as the rad roach from Fallout 3. Jackie won't remember that. Get jump scared. <laughs> I forgot what my character looked like. <laughs> Let's wash the face up. Get a Lunchable's worth of lead. She's cyber on my punk until I 2077. The Johnny segments are the Johnny segments. Delete the hospital's baby names database as my friend switches all the babies. And the entire Big Bang Theory show gets uploaded into my brain in the span of four seconds. Find out that 9mm is actually dangerous. And get to see the karma every brake checker needs. But due to the accident, I get sent to the hospital but get sent home early as my insurance won't cover it. But at least I get a new friend. No, not her. Him. We share our favorite memes, and he gives me some helpful life advice. Stick some iron in your mouth and pull the trigger. Once I'm awake, I get a call from the man who caused the accident, who wants to meet up. But I also find something useful out during the call. I drop some items, and when you drop them in mass, they go in a little bag. And if the automatics in that bag, when they get picked up, the guns are still functional. Oh, wait. Can I use this to my advantage? Moreover, if you save while you have the bag on the ground and reload... Ooh! 
okay, this is going to make this a lot more tolerable. So I stock up since I have more hope for this run. All right, this is actually going to be a lot more possible, hopefully. I'm trying to get insurance information from Takamura, but he's just as brain rotted as I am and instead offers me some work. I see something that's just a little too cool. Yo, bro, that's a cool ass hoodie. Yo, where do you get that, bro? It's so cool. The whole hoodie's translucent. That's so cool. It's like a cool raincoat. That's awesome. Somebody make that in real life. And get distracted with some assault in progress. Reconfirm the gun isn't terrible. If you can hit your shots, become too cool for school, and try and buy some info from Rogue. I don't have the cash. Fuck. I'm a broke ass bitch. I've, uh, I'm like I'm ten pennies short. Are you kidding me? After selling some random ass gun, pay for the info from Rogue. And for once in my life, I have enough cool to finally not get in a fight with Judy. I leave to find my boss so I can get some workers comp. Hey, you left your bat out here, ma'am. Ma'am, ma you can't leave your bat out here. It's a very unsafe place to leave it. So after a hop, skip, and a jump, and some more random money gathering, I find another great problem with the weapon. If I get knocked down, the slaughtermatic in my hands goes out of my hands. Oh, if I get knocked over, I drop the weapon in my hand. Yikes. Yikes. It's finally time to go to clouds, but before I need enough cash to buy the legs that let me jump, so I'm able to make the not so hidden jump, drop all my weapons in front of the window, so when they try to take all my pea shooters away from me, my weapons that I don't have are going to get deposited here. I can crack open a window. Instead of talking to the dolls, I just take my pea shooters and shoot pea. Slowly clawing my way through the tiger claws, getting into one close call. Oh yo 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 yo! Oh, make my way to Woodman as he flops like a pancake. I shoot a burger and also shoot a burger. And with the info I need, I make my way back out, become a self-aware hypocrite. You healing bastard! I'm only allowed to do that. Finish. Do what I need to do to feel good about myself. I don't care. See Mr. Ghost take a ghost chair for himself, get to talk with what Kanye likes in his ass, and give fingers the smackaroni. Some people may think that this technically fails the challenge, as I punched him with my hands, and my hands aren't the slot automatic. But what those people who think that don't know is that they smell bad. So after dealing with the problem, why did I gain street cred for that? What the hell? We take the drop of information he gives. Find a sleeping man who has just what I need. Because coffee cold and room hot, we know the exact location of Evelyn. Judy wants me to help her now. <laughs> no. But I need to finally get my claim with the car crash buddy. We ask his friend very nicely if he will give us his dash cam footage. I will not. Enjoy my favorite scene in the game. Beta up! Hideshi Hino, to have fallen so far. Such a shame. Such a shame indeed. <laughs> to impress our 10 out of 10 lawyer, I tell her Takamura's Xbox gamer tag. Yeah, me rot, you did that. <laughs> Dude, you're embarrassing me in front of the 10 out of 10 Asian women. Come on! Back me up. And it gets us some more free information. And it's great at keeping me engaged. We give each other a goodbye and get back to helping Judy. Once again, my headshot damage just keeps getting better and better. And most enemies just don't stand a chance. Goodness. Only thing that ever causes problem is empty mag bug. Fuck. Fuck. You gotta be kidding me. Hit my magic one close call. CSGO moment. And once everyone is done though, we get my boss out. But instead of getting workers comp, I get info on my boss's boss and forced to climb the corporate ladder. Find out a small upside of this run. Damn. At least I'm saving so many, uh, so many perk points by all these things that <laughs> increase my reload speed. It's great. Finally meet back up with Rogue for my info. Get a free coworker. Stock back up on Pain. Meet up with Pan Am. Find out that she's also got insurance problems with her car. So feeling her pain, we team up. Ask her friends for some help. Four of us. 
You know, we would do anything for you, sister. But you wouldn't believe me if I told you. No. Make a terrible choice and get the worst sand Deviston. I guess I'll try the Zeta Tech sand Deviston. I've not been the biggest fan of it so far, but I guess I'll try it. Find out that we're both equally deaf. Found the breakers, but there's no juice on them. Not to worry. Come down. I know I'm, I'm, I'm down. I'm right here. Set up the worst ambush ever created and find out why this Sandy sucks eggs whole. But despite that, the reference stands zero chance. Had pops like I have the bloody mess perk and except for one close call and then my weapon doesn't work and a bad luck streak. I need one that shoots bullets. Nope. Bullets, they need to shoot bullets. Nope. It needs to shoot bullets. Everyone finally goes down. <laughs> and despite the fact that it's extra work, I actually help her get her little vengeance kick. And it's actually the biggest challenge so far. Still finished it in the first try, but just the amount of meat bags, flash bangs, and the damage output getting kicked up by just a smidge. But once we finish Nash, get another dirty streak. Nope. All right, next one's definitely one that can shoot. Nope. Nope. All right, next one, though. The next one shoots bullets. Nope. All right. This one, this one's a bullet shooter. I can nope. sense it. But this one, though, this one also shoots bullets. Get to see a man chill, reward ourselves with a nice glass of water, and decide to keep following this quest. Have an interesting conversation with Pan Am. Seems Rogue was right. V. What? She said you were good and she was right. Yes, I suppose she was. But we have yet to take the AV. So you might wait before you fasten a halo on her. Know what? Think I figured you out. Oh, you have, have you? Either pull off this mission or prove Rogue wrong. Choose one. Fuck off. I will get both done. <laughs> Actually, she kind of does, doesn't she? Because she gets the mission done, but fucks it over in spectacular fashion. And then has to go for vengeance to fix it. Damn. Damn. And after saving Mitch with ease, I'm able to get the last perk that helps me in the cool tree. <laughs> Nerves of the tungsten cube. Start to make my way after the insurance broker. The easy meatheads are easy to shoot right in the weak spot. And I finally get the Hellman. <laughs> get a free dead guy's bike and let Hellman look into my dark, fucked up mindset. Oh, fuck. And because of this, not even his company can help me get compensation. But he gives me some plans in case someone else can help me. I then have to watch a show with my best friend, who explains every little thing as it happens. President Myers has he eliminated the, the vast obstacle the between war. himself the and the complete the power. The and they surrendered it to him. I teach him about the great outdoors, stalk the company building, and for once try a different way inside. It actually starts great, but I quickly got found out. That didn't work. So while shooting the stars, known as the guards' five heads, I turn into Hank Hill <laughs> and find out that not only getting knocked down throws my weapon away, but seemingly almost doing any animation with my hands. Where'd my weapon go? Oh my goodness, if you do anything with your hands, weapon gone, I hate it. Many headshots later, the people outside are cleared out, with the exception of one mech. Oh yeah, I'm not fighting that. You can go fuck yourself. <laughs> I hate doing that. Uh-uh. I make my way inside and keep splitting heads like a pastor during a circumcision. Eventually, each penis loses its wrapper. We did? We good now? We done? We're done? That's it? Alright. I hack a computer. Get on some head- uh, hang on. Get on some head and get away scot-free. I then get left on red. In game, of course and get a call right before I'm about to go on panty raid. Clock in, lock in, and waste too much money. Take a quick nap, go to church to clear my sins. Wish I rode the roller coaster, and get a job to clear out a gym. And for once, take it head on. It's mostly went swimmingly. Oh yeah. Popping heads, cherries, pulling out some party tricks. Oh baby, I'm a crack shot. Headshots, get reminded life's not fair. Finish the rest off.
find out why my help is needed, and very unsurprisingly, take down the backshot queen. I'm built for weak spot damage. Her existence is a weak spot. There we go. So outside of the forced hits, oh, uh, I'm fine. No, I'm not fine. It's really, 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 really easy. Go back for the real ones. <laughs> I can always count on this game and hit me with it. So once we've danced our dance, I actually find out you can just shoot this net watch agent, which is epic. But my injuries catch up to me, and I'm forced to take a quick nap. But once I get better, I can talk to Bridget. Get forced into the Johnny segment, try oh so hard not to write in my 18th alt F4 joke, sell my soul to an AI, and unfortunately, let the voodoo boys live, as I don't have enough guns left to turn them all into Swiss cheese. Get one last look at the city, buy more plastic pain givers, finally let myself have a good Sandy, and change my hand to get one that gives me more carry weight so I can actually carry more slot automatics at once. Also spending the time to get some armor. I meet back up with insurance buddy, reach out to pet dog, I take out sniper one, two, and three, and then it's time to take on the head of the insurance company. Fuck. And if you've ever fought Oda with guns, it's eh, not very fun. He dodges like a ballerina, and during the first phase, he doesn't have a weak spot for me to abuse. I just not deal damage to him? Oh, no, I did. I did not. I did 1%. The first try goes terrible. Ow. Oh, and after that, I finally use the power part of my power weapon. Well, I wish I knew this before I did no ricochet damage increasers. Using it this way brings its damage way down, but it helps go through the stamina of the flip wizard. And once he's out of the first phase, I'm easily able to knock him out of his healing and open up his weak spot. At this point, it's basically all over. It's so easy to melt him when he's at his lowest, there's quite literally zero way to lose at. Woo. After having to do it a second time, Takamura steals the queen for me to talk to, but unfortunately, the flashbang is strong with this one. I save Takamura in the best way possible, double jumping up, making brain paste, and start running like my cameraman powers might not kick in. She has a way to clear up my problems, but her plan is so nuts that my allergies kick in. It's at this point that I tried to go through Pan Am's ending, but for some reason, it wasn't starting. I go around and do many side quests, but it never started. So I take the metaphorical L and go to sign my soul over to Arasaka, since there's no other way. There you are, you bitch. I'm gonna speed through these missions to save both of us some time. I get asked to save Saul. I almost do it full on stealth. Pan Am gets upset. Is he breathing? Damn it, me! <laughs> yes, he's breathing. I'm so sorry. I'm so upset about that. Kill one guy. Here's something I really wish I didn't. Oh yeah. So, how is he? Time to don my dancing shoes. Escape the raft and hideout. Where you? Where? Where? Why? Why? When? Where? When? Get in. Get in. Get to do an on rail section with the weapon of my choice. Try and fail to get Pan Am shoes off. Ma'am, I'm sure you'd be cozier with your shoes off. <laughs> After a full day in them, I'd fear a health code violation. I get the reward of a mid-team shooter. I would uh, thank you so much for this weapon that I can totally use. Oh, great, thank you. And another bike to add to my collection. And her next quest is just as easy. Be happy for someone. Dude, those are some fresh kicks. What? Where'd you get them? Those are great, dude. Nice, I'm happy for you. Unlock Thomas T. Engine. Be honest with Pan Am. I know this may sound foolish, because I asked you to help me. But, why are you doing this? Uh, because I want to get a different ending. And use Thomas to end a Militech squad. With the Aldecaldos, it's pie. Steal the shipment, you get to see what I'm like at work. 
about two. Stop it! Fuck! Just shut up already! <laughs> Take a nap. You're listening to 91.9 Royal Blue Radio. Broadcasting. 91.9 The Cock. Where we, where we listen to cock, cock, and more cock. It's St. Joe Granny's radio station. <laughs> Get to look at and drive our new toy. Come on, hop in. Everything is set. I'm riding it. All right. Oh, <laughs> baby. Oh, yes. Yes, perfect. All right, less perfect. Enjoy the view. And as it's pointed out. One pilot steers. The other handles the gun. Two people drive this. So while I'm forced to use this, which would be covered under comment 879, subsection Fallout 3 Rat Roach, you could also say Pan Am is technically shooting, so it's fine. Saul says that he's not good, man. Make the mistake of having some brewskis, and unsurprisingly, get hit with the big nap. <clears throat> Damn, I need some water. Jeez, boys. And unsurprisingly, get hit with the big nap. Goodbye. I must take a nap. It is my duty. Wake up to something. Tell Pan Am the whole insuranceless story. See something in uncanny in real time. <laughs> Why is he so happy? He looks so weird to see him so happy. <laughs> Try and talk to Hanako. Take brain hemorrhage damage. And since I need to solve this, I do the only thing I can and ask Pan Am for a big favor. So after talking about my second favorite Pokemon game, speaking of the moon, and the nomads cook up a pretty good plan. Drive through Missile Storm, get forced to use the sniper. No, oh, I, I can't. Can I switch? I don't want to use this. No. But as it turns out, your squad can hold their own. You don't actually need to fire a single shot. See a tragic event. Did, did Bobby just... Did Bobby just do a 9-11? Are you kidding me? Clear out the work site. Not once, not twice, but three whole times. The first two being easy, but the last one being mech. So the last fight is like having an argument with your parents. Annoying, takes a long time, and you get reminded that they gave birth to you. So once mech goes banana slamma, Mitch leaves our four stack because his girlfriend made him get off. So us three gamers start to break our way in. It sucks, I can't actually stealth it. Fight no weak spot. Not the robots, anything but the robots. Sell my soul to AI part two. Saul gets disconnected mid-match. Oh! <laughs> Get sad instantly. Oh, is that not a sweet spot? Oh Lord. His head's not a sweet spot. None of you is a sweet spot. Not, not a little bit. Oh, the chest. His chest. He has a heart. I'm dead. I'm not dead. I'm dead. The second attempt goes much better, because knowing about the sweet spot definitely helped. The next phase is just as easy. Take on the backup dancer. However, dealing with a lack of sweet spot, I get a bit scared I might not have enough slot to make it through. I'm just hoping, like, maybe at 30%. Like, I need weak spot to open up. My entire build is dealing with weak spots, and he does not have one at the moment. Break him down and start getting terrible gun luck. Nope. Nope. Ooh. Okay. In the next phase, I start to do some slaps to lower him down before I start trusting my lack of bullets even recycling slaps from the ground. Once he hits 10%, it's time to unleash, break him down to the brink, and toss him into the stink. Oh, man, it's so bittersweet. I'm just happy it's over. Bringing like 400 slot -omatics. And then, first of all, fuck you. Bringing 400 slot -omatics and like 300 of them being empty is just... It fits this run just so well. It's just mwah, chef's kiss. Oh my goodness. Get one last talk with fake Jackie and get told I finally get insurance. But the only problem is it only lasts for six months. So I take what I can get and move on with Pan Am. 
and search for better coverage. And prove that no, I can't get insurance, but yes, you can beat Cyberpunk 2077 with the Slotomatic. Once again, thank you all for watching, and now as always, man, I'm running out of these. War. War never changes, except for all the times it did. Just, 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 just ignore those parts. <laughs> just, just, just ignore, just ignore those parts.